This is going to be the most easiest spoon ring tutorial ever. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I picked up this Niagara Falls sterling silver spoon. It cost me around £12 with the shipping and it arrived this morning. Every time someone mentions Niagara Falls to me, I always think of the movie Bruce Almighty. But let me give you some steps on how to make a sterling silver spoon ring. Or silver plated or stainless steel. Just grab yourself a teaspoon. If you do have sterling silver, that's good. Your fingers won't be turning green when you want to wear it as a ring. Oh, I don't make rings without the ring bender. My job is to make loads of rings and get them sold. So I have this thing. It costs £250 from Pepe Tools. You can always buy extra pieces like this and extra gauges to bend the spoon handle around. They would look like this. But when you are making rings, you really don't have to pay attention to the 22, the 20 and the 18 on top. If you want to make like necklaces or stuff or want to bend something really sharp, just use this one right here. Or all we're going to need are these little ones here. So grab the 18. But I'm guessing if you want to make a ring for yourself, you're going to want to polish the spoon up that you have. So I'm going to give this one a polish. This is Silvo polish. It comes in this wadding stuff and it really does make the piece shiny. And as you can see there, all the black tarnish is already coming off the spoon. You can also use one of these Dremels. These literally cost around 20 to 30 pounds and you can polish the ring with it. The spoon is now even shinier. I can make it even shinier, but I wanna get on with this video. Now we're gonna get onto the fun part that you're waiting for and that is the bending of the spoon. I'm gonna take that little 18 gauge and put that in there. Now on this one, the pattern is on the inside and the back of it is quite plain. So we're going to bend it in on itself. And then when you push in the middle of that spoon, you shouldn't have to worry if you are using sterling silver. Sterling silver has never really split on me. You can see that part is now being curved. Do that to the whole spoon head until you're happy with the curvature. Then you should be left with this little part here that is now curved. Now all you have to do is take the handle and wrap it around the front. So we're just going to do the same as what we just did with the spoon head and just keep bending. Now there's going to be hardly no cuts in this video because I want you to see pretty much the raw version of it all. Now when you get to this part, you're going to want to make sure that this part overlaps this part. So you're just going to bend the spoon head bit on this part just a little bit more than the handle. And that handle should end up coming over the top, just like so. At the minute, it's looking a bit freaky. So all you're gonna do is take a bigger gauge, like the 20 here, and you're just gonna go over that until it perfectly goes circle. Do this for around 20 seconds. And then you are simply left with a sterling silver spoon ring. And this one is now perfectly round. And that handle is very flush on the spoon head. Now sterling silver is a very delicate silver, so this does move a little bit. And I don't want to ruin the spoon completely by putting a tick weld under there and just ruin it in general. All this needs now is an even bigger polish to get rid of that black shit. That's what it looks like on my thumb. And the detail is very nice on this piece. If you want to buy this piece, this will be on my eBay. Now, once you have this piece, you can list it on any site that you want. If it's silver plated or stainless steel, don't list it for as much as you would with a sterling one. Sterling silver is a very precious metal. That's why people buy these. And it is a very unique piece. If you want to buy my rings, my links are in my bio. If you want an even more detailed video on how to make a spoon band ring, ask me in the comments and I'll get that done for you.